What it do, Hunto gang? It's your boy, Jay Hunto, the real Jay Hunto, and this is my tattoo review. It's up right now. Oh, you thought you had it all figured out back then, girl. How about now? Because I'm up right now. All right, Hunto gang, you already know what it is, man. Another video, another little ass video. Stay tuned, man. You already know more to come. But uh, this video right here, I'm basically about to get into my tattoos. Uh, shout out to my boy. Lil Mar, you feel me? He basically put me onto this video. He gave me the idea to do this video. So I'm shout out to my boy Lil Mar uh, on Instagram. Mar, if you're watching this video, bro, I'm doing this video for you. And my boy Grayson on the camera, man. You feel me? Got my cameraman right now. He about to be going on. Basically, what it is, I'm about to show y'all all my tattoos. I'm about to give y'all the meaning behind my tattoos. A little quick video, you feel me? Throw it out there. Uh, let's get into it. Alright, before we get started, man, if you're new to the channel, man, hit that like button, because I already know you're going to like this video. It's your boy, Jay Hunto, you know what I'm saying? If you're watching me, it got to be a reason why. Also, subscribe to my channel, and also leave a comment down below, and let me think, let me know what you think about this video. Also, follow me on Instagram at Wednesday Hunter. it's going to be linked in the bio. Without further ado, we're going to get into my tattoos, man. Before we get my tattoos, though, I want to say, if you're going to get a tattoo, always know what you're going to get. But I'm gonna start talking. I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit more while I'm getting tattoos. But I'm gonna get into my tattoos. And you know what I'm saying? I got nine tattoos for y'all who don't know. I look like I got a lot more, but I already got nine. They just spaced out. First, I'm gonna go ahead and take my shirt off. So if you're watching this right now, you know what I'm saying? Boy, you got a little muscles, you feel me? So you better calm down with the female. I'm gonna take your girl. I'll take your girl real quick. Real quick, like man. Alright, bro. So we could get it too. My first tattoos, like when I first got tattoos, like I wasn't allowed to get tattoos until I was 18. Like I always, my boys used to always, you know what I'm saying, you in school. I think I was in like 11th grade when they started getting tattoos. And everybody used to come to school with tattoos. And I used to be like, but I want a tattoo, I want a tattoo. So I asked my mom, can I get a tattoo? She said, boy, you, well, two things you can't get in the house, a tattoo and a gun. She said, you can't get that until you move out or until you get your own place. And I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying, are you old enough? I was like, damn, I can't get a tattoo. I was like, what? I think I was 17. My birthday was next the uh, next year after that. So as soon as my birthday came, got my first tattoo on my birthday. My first tattoo was my initials. You feel me? I got J and M. My initials, you feel me? For sure. Not J my name, look, my name is not J Hunter. Everybody think my name is J Hunter, because that's that's just everybody call me J Hunter, but I got a J and I got an M, man. So like these are my first tattoos. Like I said, if you're gonna get a tattoo, make sure you got meaning behind a tattoo. Don't just get a tattoo because you want a tattoo. Make sure there's meaning behind the tattoo. But I got my initials because I'm gonna tell y'all a quick story about the tattoo. So like when I first got these tattoos, I was with my boy Dante, you feel me? Like he was he already had a tattoo. And then I had just turned 18 on my birthday, and I was like, I wanted a tattoo. So I hit him up, he was like, he, the day of my birthday, he was gonna get a tattoo. And I was like, yo, if you're gonna get a tattoo, so you might as well, you feel me, take me with you. So this is the day I call him to work. And I had just got the job. I just got the job. I was on the job for like two days. Like, this, was like, like, this day was like my second day going to, going to work. But I ain't had to go to work just yet. I had to go to work like I think 12 o'clock. It was like nine something. So I figured we going to run and get a tattoo right quick. And we going to come back. But the cat tattoo was like our way. The tattoo man was like our way. So we drive to the tattoo man. You feel me? It was already kind of sketchy because I'm thinking the tattoo. We had a tattoo shop. But it really wasn't a tattoo shop. It was a dude in the house. You feel me? And I was like, damn. But at the same time. Everybody got to start somewhere. He was a good artist. He just like, he just ain't had a shop. He had it in the house. I was sketchy, but I was like, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't went with him. So I get my tattoo and stuff. So I started getting my tattoo. It actually did hurt at first. I got a video. I wanted, I got, I got. All the stuff about the call. I see it, I wanted, I got. I see it, I wanted, I got. I see it, I wanted, I got. All the stuff about the call. Yeah, nigga. Hey Dante, you probably got to come back, boy. I got a, the man just caught the man just tell me, bro. He, you know what I'm saying? You probably got to, you got, you got to drop me off to the, to the uh, thing. So you, so you got to come back, bro. <coughs> the outline do a little bit. I had to tap my legs. Yeah, that's really Oh, it actually did hurt at first when I got the tattoo. It just when he started shading it, that just after before it started numbing up, that's when he started. It started hurting, but after he started, after it started numbing up and shading, it ain't so bad. But I did my first tattoo. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of lit when I first got it. My second, I, to be real with you, I only remember my first and my last tattoo. But these were my first tattoos though. My second tattoo, I don't know which one was my second tattoo, but we will get it to these. This one say gods. It say gods, and then I got angels. 
when I got these tattoos, I got them done. It's, it's something though. Not about to do the camera. I got them done by something else. Cause I ain't feel like dropping them. He do good work, but I, you know, said so I ain't, I ain't had a car at the time, and I was, wasn't about to drop it out there. But this ain't God, ain't gonna ask you to by a dude named Spike. You feel me? Shout out to my boy Spike. You know what I'm saying? He did these. These actually kind of hurt a little bit, but they ain't really, they ain't really hurt as bad as I thought they would because it was right here on my bone. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a little skinny buff. You know what I'm saying? A little buff skinny dude. So you, gotcha, bitch. You know, I thought it was actually gonna hurt worse, but it actually didn't. I got him done. He ain't charged me that much. It's supposed to be a whole piece. You know what I'm saying? By the end of this summer, I'm gonna have. Old sleeve, but I ain't finished my sleeve up. Like, I gotta connect. This was done back in South Carolina. I actually got a cross because you know what I'm saying. First off, I'm a child of God, you know what I'm saying. Ain't no atheist over here, you feel me? I don't mess with the devil, I mess with the God. You feel me? I wear a cross. So, I got a cross, you feel me? This was separate though. I ain't got all, I ain't got the cross at the same time, but I got this. But I got the God's name, like I said, it's supposed to be a piece. Uh, I got my grandma name. I'm a little ashy right now. I shouldn't have put on some lotion. But I got my grandma and uh, um, and some flowers around it. She died on uh, 2008. But she was born in 1997. Y'all see that yet? 19, 1907 to 2008. She was 100 years old when she passed. She was about, let me tell y'all right now, that's my great-great grandma. If you ever live be that, that old, that means you got a lot of wisdom. You're doing something right in life for real, for real, to be living that long. 1907? Think I wouldn't even thought of 1907. 1907, 2008, that's real. But yeah, I got her tattooed on me, you know what I'm saying? Um, stay humble. I got this one. I got this one done by the same dude that did the one on my calves. This one actually did not hurt. This actually did not hurt. Like, to be real, you would think this hurt the whole piece. Stay humble. You always gonna wanna be humble. Like, you always gonna wanna stay humble, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, be, you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna. You don't want to be the type of person to uh to um turn it back straight because you don't it's gonna be turning. But you don't want to be the type of person to I don't like I said if you gonna get a tattoo get me and I gotta stay humble because I'm a humble person. Like I like making people laugh and I like you know what I'm saying I like making I like being happy. You feel me? Cause I I done been I done been through a lot to where you know what I'm saying it's not time to be like, happy. You feel me? So you don't want to be humble. So I got this. It remembers of me being humble, you feel me? I always be around people, always like make people laugh. Everybody say I'm funny, so I'll be like staying humble. I got my mom name tatted on me. Uh, like I said, I got this done on her birthday. Like I get, I just got this before I moved up to Charlotte. I got her name tatted on me. But um, she kept, when she saw this tattoo, like she, like I said, she wanted to allow me to get a tattoo so either I moved out or turn 18. But uh, when I got this tattoo on her, when I got this tattoo, she was like, she was happy I got it tattooed, her name tatted on her, but she was like, that's all? I was like, I was like, yeah, I got your date. She was like, that's all. You ain't gonna put nothing with it. So eventually, I'm gonna put something with it. You feel me? I'm gonna, I ain't gonna just leave it. Like I said, I'm gonna get a whole piece. So eventually, I'm gonna put more with it. But she was like, that's all. Like, that's that's it. Uh, what else I got? I think that's it over here. But we gonna count these tattoos right here, real quick. We got one, two, three. And these were separate. Like I said, these were separate. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My last tattoo, my last tattoo. This the tattoo that I'm gonna tell you right now. This tattoo right here hurt it. Like, you about to see a video. Bro. This tattoo hurt it so bad to the point where I was like, I just like forget it, man. Keep going. Like he asked me, he asked me like, a few times. He was like, "Do you want me to stop?" I was like, "Nah, keep going." Cause then, I don't want to walk around with half a tattoo. Who wants to walk around with half a tattoo? Do you want to walk around with half a tattoo? I know I don't want to walk around with half a tattoo. So I was like, you know what I'm saying? Keep going. And it, I would not recommend nobody get a tattoo on their calf. You feel me? Cause it actually did hurt. But it's actually a Jordan, man. Everybody know me. I'm kind of ashy, but uh, my favorite pair of Jordans is Jordan ones, Jordan Elevens. Jordan 12s, and I actually got the Jordan symbol. It's uh, the Air Jordans, the basketball with the, the Jordan 1 symbol, 23 with the Jordan symbol, uh, Jordan sign. Like I said, I'm a little ashy, but uh, Jay, Jay Wan is my name, but uh, I go by Jay Hunter or Jay. So I'm, I'm, I, I, I like Jay's. I always used to collect Jay's when I'm a young girl, but my first pair of Jay's, uh, as I left military school, I paid like 200 something, 200 something to buy. Like my whole military tech on pair of Jay's. That's how much I love Jay's. 50, so I got a tattoo of the memories of that. You feel me? Like, cause I like Jay, I like Jordan. Uh, and I'm schooling one of y'all in basketball. You feel me? So thank you for putting me in basketball. What's up? You know 
Jones and I put some J's on. I don't even got to put on no J's. I put on the force and bust your ass. I just straight shoot three, shoot half court. I'm a, I'm a free range long shooter. Straight up. But yeah, man, that's nine tattoos. That's a, it's a quick little video, you feel me? Uh, yeah, so if you're going to get tattoos, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're going to get tattoos, make sure, make sure you get some meat behind tattoos. Because, like, you got to understand, with tattoos, them, they, they, they stay on you forever. You feel me? Like, they ain't going to go away. You can get it removed, but I promise you it hurt worse. I, like that, I never had a tattoo removed, but I promise you it hurt worse than getting a tattoo. Because that's laser removal, I heard. You know what I'm saying? You, why would you want to get something on you to get removed? You feel me? So you paid all that money to get a tattoo. And then pay more money to get removed. So I'd rather, if you're going to get a tattoo, your first tattoo, make sure you know what you're going to get. Don't just go to the tattoo parlor and be like, oh, well, what you think it looks nice on me? Because he not going to know what you like. You're not going to know what you like. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So, if you're going to go to the tattoo parlor, always have in your head that, hmm? Tell a story. My boy over here trying to give me some ideas. My boy trying to give me, uh, I'm going to tell a little story, though. A little story about, actually, I'm going to tell this. I'm going to actually finish telling the story. What a story. Because this, I'm going to tell the story about my first tattoo. Because actually, that's a, that's a real story. Like I said, we went to the house. I'm, I thought, you feel me? I thought that we was going to a tattoo parlor. Like, the place was like an hour away. So I thought we was going to a tattoo parlor. It's really a house. So we get in there. The dude was cool, though. He was setting up. He was like, who want to go first? I told him I had to work. You feel me? It was like 9 something. I had to go to work at like 12. So we was in there. The tattoo actually took a little minute to do. Because he had to do mine. He had to do my homeboy. But he didn't get to do my homeboy. Because I'm about to tell y'all the story to why he didn't get to do my homeboy. So we get in there, right? The dude was cool. He was like, yo, this is the first time I get a tattoo. He's like, yeah. He's like, I'm asking the questions. I was a little nervous. I ain't gonna lie to you. you feel me? I wanted that tattoo, but I still was nervous because of my first tattoo. So I'm asking the question. I'm like, you feel me? Like, is it gonna hurt? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Is it gonna swell up? What's gonna happen? So he was basically telling me, like, if you keep, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's gonna split up a little bit. It's like, it's like when you get a cut. It's like when you get a cut. It's, it, it's, it's open cut. So it's gonna, it's gonna swell up because it's open. But after it start healing, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna close up. And it's like, I was like, how's the tattoo? How's the needle gonna feel? He was like, it's basically a picture, picture uh, a bobby pin. Or one, yeah, a bobby pin or uh, a clothes. You know, them pins, them pins, you got a clip, a safety pin, safety pin. Picture that getting, getting tapped on you. He said, like, picture that. And I was like, okay, I'll picture that. And he was like, that's basically how I feel. And it's consistent. It's consistent. It's like a beast thing. It's consistent. Consistent. After, you know what I'm saying? After it numbs up, you don't really feel it. So I was like, all right, all right. So we get the first thing. He start. first he did a little sketch. He did a sketch. He actually drew the shit out. He actually did a good draw. He actually drew, he actually drew these out. Like, the name like, you thought he printed out, but he actually drew the, he actually drew them out. You know what I'm saying? He actually drew them out. When he drew them out, he put them on like, some type of white paper, some type of blue paper. You know what I'm saying? And he put it in a um, in a copy, in a, a machine, and it, it got it together, and he peeled it apart, and it was like blue, and he stuck it on me. You feel me? And once he stuck it on me, he took the he took a marker and did the outline on the it, and he took the needle. He started making the um, he put the ink in a little cup, and he took, he put the needle in the um, the ink, and he turned it on, and he went tap it, he tap it. He told me he first he asked me did it hurt, and I was like a little bit, but you feel me? Like I said, I want the tattoo, so I, I got through the tattoo. So he started getting through the tattoo. When he started finishing one, I started looking at my time, and I was like, it's actually taking time, and I gotta get to work. So I was like, he was like, what time you gotta go to work? I was like, 12. I forget what time it was, but it was getting close to 12. So like, he was like, do you want me to hurry up? Do you want me, do you want to go to work and come back? I was like, nah, 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 finish it, finish it, finish it. So he finished this one, and he went to this one. After he got completely done, I started, we only had like, we only had like, I don't even know, bro, to be real with you. But I had to go to work. I had to go. I remember I had to go to work. And I was telling him, I was like, I got to go to work. And my boy, he still had got his tattoo. And I hate that we had drove all the way up there. Because he was like, oh, wait. I hate that we drove up there. And he couldn't get his tattoo. But I was like, bro, I got to go get it. I got to go to work. So I called my manager. Because, you know what I'm saying? I had to go to work. And I'm thinking that I wasn't going to get there on time. You feel me? Your fingers in the way. I'm thinking I wasn't going to get there in time. But, so I'm calling my manager. I'm like, like I said, this is my second day on this job. My, uh, this is like my second job. It's a little... It's a little piece of job. It's, it's not even whack to You feel me? So it's my second day on the job, and uh, I'm calling my manager, and I'm like, I ain't telling him to get the tattoo, but I tell him, I'm like, uh, I don't know what time you see me. Like, my mom, I have her car, but she had to go to work, and I don't know what time she's about to get off. Uh, I'm, I'm on my way, but I don't know what time I'm going to really get there. You feel me? Like, trying to butt it up. Like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't know. I know I'm going to get there, but I don't know if I'm going to make it on time. So he's like, okay, well, I'm going to have to call somebody in. You can't make it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm calling somebody in. I 
was like, no, nah, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. So, boom, he got off the phone. So, we get there, you feel me? We get there anyway, we get back to something, right? I need you, I tell you, no lie. 10 minutes, bro, 10 minutes before 12. It was like 11, 11 50, I swear to God, 11 50, we walk in there. He's talking about something, already got somebody you can go. I'm like, where he at? Dude wasn't even there, he wasn't even there, you feel me? No, he wasn't even there. So, I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? I called him being good, I'm thinking I'm gonna be late. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I, we was an hour away. I figured we wasn't gonna get back on time. So I called 10 minutes. I wasn't even late. It was like 11 50. I had to be there like 12. So we get, I get that. I'm like, the dude not even here. He's like, yeah, but I already called him to come. You have a nice day. You I'll pay you for the days you work. I was like, so you basically, basically you find me. You feel me? Basically you find me. She's like, no. Yeah, basically I had to find you because you told me that you was gonna be here on time. I'm like, I'm here on time. You know, my boy was a little upset about it too. I was like, you know what? Don't forget about it. You know what I'm saying? You pay me. I called my mom, I told her, I was like, yeah, uh, I was here on time, you know what I'm saying, he let me go. I was like, she said, don't trip, you know what I'm saying, get another job. You know what, I don't give a fuck, I make more money than nigga anyway, it don't even matter. But that's what my story about the tattoos, you feel me? Like I said, man, I'm about to be able to wrap this video up. But if you gonna get a tattoo, always remember one thing, man. Make sure you got meaning behind it, and don't just get a tattoo because a friend got a tattoo. That's a lot of mistakes about that, man. Don't get a tattoo because a friend got a tattoo, and always make sure you got meaning behind it. But, uh, and this is your boy Jay Hanto, the real Jay Hanto. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you really enjoyed this video, man, hit me a like button, man. Leave a comment down below. Give me some chances. Shout out to my boy Mark for the video, man. Some more to come. <laughs>